there's two things that happen and they, they, that deals with the global warming and the ozone depletion. Number one, the ozone depletion happens when the chlorine molecule finds its way up into the upper atmosphere. And it's got a pretty good kill ratio because it takes one chlorine molecule to destroy 100,000 ozone molecules. Well, what's that mean to us? We've seen increases in radiation reaching the earth, which means that the cancer, skin cancer in particular, has been on the rise. There's other things that has happened. Uh, some of the uh, uh, ocean type life has been affected with it also. The bottom line is we don't need to be releasing the refrigerants into the atmosphere. Um, with that kind of a ratio of one to 100,000, who do you think is going to win? It's not going to be the ozone molecule. So with uh, banning those refrigerants and phasing them out, it's uh, definitely going to help the future. Now, when it comes to the global warming, that's a little hard to understand, but I, I can tell you from first hand how that works. It's a greenhouse effect. What happens is the, the gases, that, that is the ozone, I mean not, not, not ozone, but the uh, refrigerant gases will get caught in the air and cause some of the heat that's usually uh, radiated back out into space to be captured within the earth. Now, if you ever work around a greenhouse and you walk into a greenhouse on a hot day, you'll find out right quick that it's a lot warmer in that greenhouse than it is outside. The reason being because the glass will let some of the waves out, but not all the waves that entered in from the sunlight. So they're captured. And by doing that, it's going to drastically heat up that greenhouse. I want to give a little example of how that, that, that can really happen. We had a greenhouse that was air conditioned. And you don't see that too often but because it's so expensive, but this was in the name of research and the air conditioner broke. Well, nobody was there when it broke, and there had been somebody in that house somewhere around 10 o'clock that morning that had watered the plants. Now, these were beautiful green plants. They come back in around 2 o'clock in the afternoon to check the plants, and they were burnt. I mean, crispy. And uh, there was... PVC type conduits within the within the greenhouse and that I believe the rating on that stuff was somewhere around 90 degrees C. It had actually got them so soft that the conduits in the greenhouse had actually sagged. So we know that it probably reached somewhere around 200 degrees. We don't really know exactly how much, but I mean, that's the greenhouse effect. It wasn't a heater on, it was simply from the sun being, the waves from the sun being caught within that greenhouse. So we can see that the refrigerants definitely need to be taken under control. Uh, Rick, you want to take a break right there?